Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and today what we're going to do is a review of David Cronenberg's Shivers, which is the Arrow release. There you are, in all its glory, and this is also the Steel Book. So, let's take a look at uh, the, the box set in detail, and then after that uh, we'll come back and I'll give you my review and what I thought about the movie and comments and etc, etc. So, let's take a look at what comes in the box. Okay guys, so here it is. Here's the steel book. There's the front cover right there. Let me take this sticker off here. Alright, set that right there. Here we are, a bunch of special features right there. And limited edition steel book packaging featuring original artwork. New high-definition defi digital transfer supervised and approved by writer-director David Cronenberg. High-definition Blu-ray and standard-definition DVD is included. Original mono audio uncompressed. PCM on the Blu-ray. Original English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Parasite Memories, The Making of Shivers. A brand new documentary featuring interviews with stars of Barbara Steele. Alan Coleman and Lynn Lowry, special effects genius Joe Blasco, and film critic Kier Lajanis. Sounds Canadian, French Canadian there. On screen, an episode of the Canadian television programs looking at the producers John Dunning and Andre Link, as well as other cast and crew. From stereo to video, a specialty, special, specially commissioned video essay by. Calum Vam, wow, okay, I can't say that name. Anyway, author of They Came From Within, A History of Canadian Horror Cinema, charting Cronenberg's career from his experimental beginnings through to Videodrome, his first major studio picture. Original theatrical trailers, promotional galleries, collector's booklet featuring new writing on the film by Paul Corupe. Kor I don't know. Speaking Japanese there. Sorry, guys. Uh, creator of the... Kanu Exploitation website. Reprinted excerpts of Cronenberg on Cronenberg and more of Illustrated with original archives, stills, and a poster. Okay, so those chock full of special features, which Arrow always does. And let's take a look at the back here. There's the back view of the steel book. Okay. I'm assuming that is Barbara Steele because the only scene in the movie in a bathtub was from her, but it sure doesn't look like her. Okay. Inside, here we go. You got the DVD right here. Set that over here. There's the artwork on the DVD. And we have the Blu-ray. I can get it out here. There's the Blu-ray. The artwork on that. Okay, and the booklet. There's the inside there with the worm coming out of his mouth. Alright, so there's that. Now let's take a look at the book. Oh, you get the lobby card here. That arrow usually includes Comedy of Terrors with all of the other, I guess, releases by Arrow. Okay, there's that. And the booklet. Let's take a look at the booklet here. The artwork on the front, the little parasite there in the bathtub scene. There's a couple of more parasites. So let's take a look at this book here. Let me move this case out of the way so you can get a clear look of the book. There we go. Okay. So cast and crew. The bathtub scene. Everything is sexual. David Cronenberg. Okay, there's one of the stars there. 
cool scene is there at the end. She's so pretty, man. Showing the unshowable. Very controversial film. Still from the movie there. You should know about how bad this film is. After all, you paid for it. And that was the write-up in the paper from one of the Canadian critics, which later had cake on his face because they made their money back. There's a scene from the movie. Very bloody movie, which was also unusual for that time. This has the full article that he wrote up in the newspaper. The little parasite coming out of his mouth there. It'll bug you. about the transfer. Shearer's was restored by the Toron Toronto International Film Festival. Restoration was completed at Technicolors with supervision by David Cronenberg. The restored film was delivered to Arrow Films by Lionsgate. That's, that's surprising actually. Lionsgate does not release a lot of their stuff. Maybe Arrow's got some kind of special deal because Screen Factory they will not, they can't get any Lionsgate titles. So there you go, guys. That's what was in it. I highly recommend this. It, it was a really, really great movie. And it is a piece of film history, piece of horror history that everybody should have in their collection. Okay, now that you've seen what comes in the box in all of its glory, I'll tell you what I thought about the movie. So basically, it is a David Cronenberg... 1975, I got my notes here again, so if you see me looking over here, that's what I'm doing. It's a David Cronenberg 1975 uh, film that he did. Now, it is not his first full-length film. He had a couple of more before that, but they were kind of experimental college-type films uh, shot with no sound and was, was done with a post-production uh, narration added to it. Uh, also, I think one was in black and white or so, but anyways, this was the film, Shivers was the one that, that kind of put him on the map. So, it's known by many names. <laughs> so, Shivers is probably the most popular name that everybody recognizes the film about. The American title was They Came From Within, the French release was called frissons, which I have no idea what that means. If anybody knows who speaks French, who knows what frissons means, please put it in the comment. Orgy of the Blood Parasites was another name that came up with this, and the Parasite Murders. So there you are. Lots of names for this movie. So it was, of course, written and directed by David Cronenberg. So what it's about is there's this doctor and he's creating these parasites to aid in organ transplant. So what he would do is he'd inject this parasite into your body. If you had a bad organ, the parasite would uh, get rid of the old organ and possibly rebuild a new organ. But the mad doctor kind of went astray and had his own idea of the way society should be and that, that we've lost touch with with our emotions and feelings and uh, free love type hippie kind of thing, you know. So he built this parasite specially designed to trigger these things in people. So the parasite was kind of introduced like an aphrodisiac slash venereal disease because it was transferred by sexual contact. But the things that happened and he realized uh, there was some problems with the parasite and basically it turned people into 
sex crazed maniacs, okay? So the movie is setting is in this apartment complex complex called the Starliner and it's it's on an island by itself so the film kind of gives it a kind of sense of isolation where everything is contained in this apartment complex and it spreads kind of like wildfire uh, from this doctor to his teenage lover and then throughout the building and everything it kind of reminded me of a zombie movie without the eating of brains so you pass it and then two and then three and then six and then there you know the whole apartment complex is infected with this the movie when you watch movies like this in in my personal opinion if you it, for instance what I'm talking about if you get a young guy to watch the older movies and this is not goes for everybody but they're desensitized to blood gore they're looking for CGI, you know, all of these things. Uh, I've heard so many times a young person see a movie like and say, "Ah, oh, it sucked," you know, and it's nothing compared to the movies nowadays. When you look at a movie or watch a movie like this, and and like the last review I did with Black Sunday, you have to get into a certain mind frame, okay, a mindset. Think about that time, okay. You're putting yourself into the people of that time. Okay? For Black Sunday, there was not much color TV. Okay? It was just the beginning of color TV. So you got to put your mind in it. There's no special effects, CG. You have to put yourself in that kind of time frame. Okay? And that's what exactly what I did with this movie also. There was, you know, the sexual revolution thing was starting to kick off. And it was kind of new ground for what David Cronenberg did on this movie. So keeping that in mind and then watching the movie it was just a fantastic piece of art it was amazing movie I enjoyed it thoroughly and I don't remember seeing this before so that was the the funny thing because I've seen almost everything <laughs> but this one kind of slipped past me for some reason now the theme you know of, of parasites and little worms or something going into your body it's it's kind of not a uh, a new thing in movies today. It's kind of been copied over and over again. And uh, Joe Blasco, which was the movie effects guy who uh, did the effects for this movie, yeah, there's an interview on the movie special features uh, with him and talking about doing this movie. And it was really, really interesting. And basically, he the only reason he did this movie was because of Barbara Steele, which has a small part in it. I, I'm not going to say she's a star in it, but she does have a kind of a small part in it. That's the only reason he decided to do this movie, because he wanted to work with Barbara Steele, the amazing, beautiful, gorgeous Barbara Steele. And he insisted that he does her makeup, or the deal is off. Okay? So that was the reason why they got him. And he created this parasite, okay? And it was the first time uh, that this kind of thing was done with the stomach, seeing something crawl around in the stomach, and how he did that. So, and you can think of other movies that kind of copy this. Alien, with the thing busting out of the stomach. Well, Joe Blasco did this before all of that. So that was very interesting to learn about all these facts about the movie. Some other things, let me give you uh, kind of the synopsis of the movie. The doctor creates a parasite to help with this, creates the kind of zombie type Okay, reactions in people, blood crazed, sex crazed, maniacs that just want to infect other people uh, in this apartment complex. So that's kind of the whole synopsis of the movie. Uh, it stars Paul Hampton, Joe Silver, Lynn Lowry, the beautiful Lynn Lowry. Gosh, she was so gorgeous. Those eyes of hers. And they also have an uh, interview with her, and she still looks pretty good, man, for, for her age. Barbara Steele, of course, can't go wrong with that. Um, the film was funded by the Canadian Film Development Corporation, CFDC, which was basically a uh, government-funded film production funding company that basically, I guess, kind of pushed for recognition of Canadian film directors. The film was totally tore up by Canadian uh, movie critics, 
They said, what a waste of money, what a waste of the taxpayers' money. But they were the one with the cake on their face in the end because the, the, the Canadian uh, Film Development Corporation got their money back uh, at times more and more, okay? The film got rave reviews in the UK and in the US and later became, as we all know it now, a very cult classic. So, a very successful film. Let me see. Uh, I think that's about all I wanted to say about the movie. I give it a big thumbs up. It's a, it's a must-have, in, in my opinion. If you love the classics, the, the 70s and the uh, 80s movies, this is an amazing movie. The effects were totally ahead of their times. The way he achieved the effects is explained and everything and it's really interesting. So, very, uh, very highly recommended. You should pick this up. So, with that, that will end my interview and what I thought about Arrow Films' amazing steelbook version of the Shivers, or Shivers, no the. Uh, highly recommended. Shivers uh, is a wonderful movie. Arrow has outdone themselves once again, which is not a new thing for Arrow Films. Great, great release. So, thank you for watching. Thumbs up, please. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Get the, my video straight to your inbox so you won't miss anything. And I will see you on the next video. Take care, guys.